Hey guys, Dr. Gillen back with another at-home workout, this time using two dumbbells to hit the upper body. Now we're gonna start off with somewhat of a full body movement, which is called a renegade row. It involves a push up into a row on each side with your dumbbells. And I say it's a full body movement because you're also utilizing your midsection or your core musculature to really stabilize your body. So we're gonna start with renegade rows and then go on to some single joint movements, uh, namely curls and lateral raises and then overhead triceps extensions. So it's an upper body focus workout using just two dumbbells. But first, let's get warmed up. Now we're gonna start off with a pec stretch and you wanna hold this for about five seconds and as you do that, contract your scapular retractors, pulling your shoulder blade back so that you can keep your shoulder locked back in retraction. And you press into it for five seconds and then relax in between. After three times on one side, switch to the other side. And you can even turn your head away or laterally flex your neck to the opposite side to increase the stretch as well. Next we'll do a shoulder stretch or deltoid stretch and all you need to do is put one arm across your body and then pull on that arm right at right above the elbow with your opposite arm and in between I like to give a little dynamic stretch just to kind of move my shoulder through its range of motion. Next we'll go into shoulder external rotations and you just drive your elbows up so your shoulders at 90 degrees of abduction and then rotate your shoulder externally and then internally. Try to keep your shoulders back and your chest out. And then the last warm up movement is YTWLs. So you hinge at the hips, keep your lower back straight and then you make a Y and then a T and then a W and then an L with your arms. On the Ys and Ts, make sure your elbows are straight and on the W's and L's, we really want to make sure we're retracting our shoulder blades and pinching them together. Keep your thumbs pointed up for the duration of these movements. Alright guys, we've warmed up our shoulders, our shoulder girdles, we've stretched out the shoulder uh, muscles, deltoid namely, as well as the pecs. So we're going to head into our renegade rows. Let me demo it first and I'll give a voiceover to explain it as I do it. And then we'll head into five rounds, trying to get six reps every round and each round is a minute. So it's every minute on the minute we get six reps. If you finish before the minute is up, then you have the remainder of that minute for rest. But first let me demonstrate. So for renegade rows, you'll set your dumbbells on the floor in about push-up position, but I like to go a little bit narrower and then move my feet wider. This gives me a more stable base of support so that I can try my best to keep my hips level as I'm doing these rows. So it's one push-up and then two rows. You might have to shift your weight slightly as you go from one row to the other, but try to keep your torso straight and your hips level with the floor. All right, so go ahead and set your timers for one minute or you can follow along with the counter on the screen. I'll be doing six reps every minute. And remember, if you finish early, that's your rest. If you can't finish in the minute, then just go right on into the next round. Six reps per minute. Okay, let's get started. All right, about 20 seconds left. Remember, we really wanna keep our hips level as we're doing those push-ups. You might have to shift your weight a little bit so that you can um, pull the dumbbell up on the rows, but really try to keep your hips level. <clears throat> All right, five seconds. Stay the buffet. Half the people die. 
It's a good world. Good world gone bad. Now in that round, I tried to switch which arm I was coming up with first on the dumbbell rows and kind of mess up the first rep, but it is a good idea to alternate right arm first or left arm first. All right, let's do it. Round three. All right, guys, two more rounds. It's getting tough. Last round. Here we go. Good work. If you haven't finished yet, keep it going. You've got 15 seconds left. All right, guys, good work. So that was five rounds of Renegade Rose, six reps for a total of 30. Good job, now we're gonna head into our single joint part of the lift. We're, we'll focus on biceps, deltoids, and triceps. So really hitting those upper body muscles, kind of the beach muscles, right? The ones that you can actually see through your shirt. So we did the full body movement, and now onto the single joint movements. So let's take two minutes, go ahead and rest, catch your breath, and then I'll explain the next part of the workout. All right guys, I hope you had a good two minute break, got some water, took a sip of your protein shake, and caught your breath. The next part of the workout will involve single joint movements, namely bicep curls, lateral raises, and overhead triceps extensions with our two dumbbells. Now we'll be doing all of these bilaterally, so both arms at once, and we'll, we'll use a strategy called Mayo Reps. A Mayo Rep is a rest pause technique where you start off with a set to near failure or to failure, right, until you can't do any more, then you pause for three to five full breaths, right? So you take full breaths, breathe in, breathe out, three to five times, 
and then you try to hit another three to five reps and you do that three times okay so what it would look like with bicep curls let's say that i can get um, about 15 reps for my first set with the dumbbells that i have i do 15 reps right and it's really burning near the end i hit 15 i couldn't do another one i rest i'm holding the dumbbell still for about three to five breaths then i try to hit five more reps if i can or at least three more reps then i rest three to five breaths do it a second time right then I rest and then do it a third time. So it's one big set followed by three small sets, but they're all very close together. And doing this um, allows you to get a bigger muscle pump in less time. So essentially there's more effective reps in those sets at the end when you're already pre-fatigued in the muscle and then you rest for a little bit and then ask the muscle to contract again. So it's called a myo rep and that's what we'll be doing. So one myo rep set on the biceps, which means 15, to 20 followed by three sets of three to five. Then myo rep set on the lateral raises. Then a myo rep set on the overhead triceps extensions, all right? So you'll be feeling the burn in the muscles. It's gonna feel good at the end. You'll have a sweet muscle pump and uh, yeah, let's get it, okay? So no time constraint on this. It's just on your own. Try to hit that max set followed by the three down sets after three to five breaths in between each, okay? You can follow along. Let's do it. Okay, starting with bicep curls. All right, definitely feeling it on that one. Whew, that burn feels so good though at the end. All right, take a short break, about a minute, and then we'll hit the lateral raises. All right, time for lateral raises. Remember, one big set followed by three smaller sets of three to five reps.
All right, guys, good work. Last up, triceps. One big set followed by three down sets. <clears throat> Take 30 seconds to 60 seconds, catch your breath, and then we'll go right into it. All right, I'm gonna do my kneeling so you guys can see, but on these tricep extensions, we really wanna keep our elbows forward and as close to our head as we can. So we're emphasizing our triceps and not quite as much our deltoids, which we just fried with the lateral raises, okay? All right, let's do it. You should now have a sick upper body pump. So go look in the mirror while you still have it. <laughs> um, thanks for following along with me in that workout. Next week, I'll be back with another at-home workout using minimal equipment, um, most likely full body or maybe even just lower body. So stay tuned for that. It was great working out with you guys. If you're looking for at-home equipment um, to purchase, I've dropped some links down below for you. It's all equipment that I've used or personally own so I trust it. And uh, if you want to check out other kinesiology videos like statistics for kinesiology or strength and conditioning concepts or anatomy, structural kinesiology, check out my channel for more content like that. Otherwise, see you guys in the next video.